compared to God, everything else is so small. Hey, online family, I'm Judah Jackson. How's everybody doing? How are you processing this coronavirus pandemic? Are you managing your fear? I, I sense that some people are still struggling. So today I want to share a meditation with you. And now meditation means um, contemplation or reflection, mental exercise. You have to take time to think. And the focus is going to be thinking about the identity of God. And compared to God, everything else is so small. I, I discovered this revelation in the book of Job, the Old Testament. It's about a righteous man that suffers tremendously. Uh, he loses all of his servants. He loses all his assets. Back in those days, it was cows and donkeys. Uh, his house collapses on his kids. His kids are killed, his sons and his daughters. He breaks out with severe boils, painful boils all over his body. His wife says, curse God and die. And the final insult is that his friends turn against him and blame him for his suffering, which it wasn't his fault. He was being tested. But anyway, so you go through all these chapters, like 37 chapters, almost to the end of this whole book of Job. And in verse 38, God speaks and answers Job. And one of the first questions is, where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? And he goes on asking about creation, talks about the stars. Where were you when I flung out Pleiades and I set Orion in the sky? And where were you when I told the seas to go forward and to stop at the banks? And it talks about creation. And the revelation is, and the solution to your fear, is that God must be magnified in your mind. So that fear, as God is magnified, that fear will bow because God will exalt himself over that fear. And the way to, to, to magnify God is to look at his creation because it prophesies the identity of the living God. The fact that you're wrestling with fear, either your God is too small, or if you're claiming the living God, your knowledge is too limited of him. One example that helped me, uh, Griffith's Observatory in Los Angeles is one of my favorite places in the whole world. And it just puts this together for you. It talks about creation. When you first walk up, there's a sundial out there. And a sundial is just a flat circle uh, or, or another circle with a, with a rod sticking up. And as the sun shines in the air, um, as the sun shines, it casts a shadow and you can tell time. Okay, very simple, but don't miss it. This system of this world is set up so the sun, you can tell the time to the minute. That's it talks about God's creation. And then you, you go further and you have these huge 15 foot statues of like Newton and Galileo, these great scientists that helped shape our, our science now. They're standing outside and they'll shout. Then when you go in, there's this huge pendulum swinging back and forth. And you know, the, the, a pendulum just goes left and right. It doesn't move, but as the earth rotates, it knocks down pe um, pegs and it's barking time. Then I would go to the right and I looked at the, um, the exhibit about the Milky Way. Uh, we live in the Milky Way galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy is uh, between 150 to 200,000 light years wide. That's how long it takes to cross it. Meaning you have to take 200,000 years going with the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, it takes 200,000 years to cross the Milky Way galaxy. Then it goes on to tell you that there are billions of galaxies in the universe. And they didn't realize it, but scientists now realize that the universe is three times larger than they ever thought it was. And this magnificent God, the living God, said he created everything, he set it out. So think on that, look at creation, and it will begin to feed through your senses to your brain who God is, but you have to put the time in. And I know a lot of things are shut down. Uh, there's observatories across the world, but they're shut down. Go on YouTube, find something about creation and cosmology, have maybe a video. A great video if you have children is what the bleep do we know? It's, great, it's animated, it's fun, but it's intercut with experts like quantum physics. Uh, they even have channelers, they have ministers on there, but it all goes together. Quantum physics, it goes so far out that it turns into spirituality and you see that it's one. So do whatever you need, because when God is exalted, that fear must bow. So family, take care and remember, compared to God, everything else 
is so small. Take care. Peace out.